Hello and welcome to the 15 year anniversary of TPE Network. I'm Hank Davis and I am happy to be joined by Alex Cruz. Hey! Damn. All right. Boy, and, we're old. <laughs> and the man, the myth, the legend, <coughs> Big Mike. Yeah, <laughs> when uh, he said 15 Stop years, that's like, oh, ooh. <laughs> Bittersweet. <laughs> ooh, that long. That's that an old cat. Right. Back when we first started podcasting, uh, microphones were made out of stone. <laughs> had we had a little stone. Flintstone bird kind of tink, 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 tink on the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the show notes. <laughs> You're like, what is that? Why is he doing that? That's outstanding. Outstanding. Back when we had dot matrix printers. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Pulling up all the different chat rooms and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Um, I did want to get both of your guys' take on something before we get into sure. some of our other stuff. I, I want you to look at this. This happened in a town near me. Let's see if it'll come up. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew you were going to show that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. But that's not funny. <laughs> But look at the comments. Okay, I'm look going to say comments. one thing, though. I'm going to say one thing, though. If you have a personality anything like mine, you can't say that's not funny because it makes it funny to me. That I'm just going to, it's bad. It's a bad thing. I know that. A horrible I, I, human trying, being. It is a thing I'm trying to work on. <laughs> yeah, I for understand. 15 years. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> but when you start out saying it's not funny, my brain automatically goes and tries to find something that's going to make me laugh. So I'm just, you know. You load the gun for me when you say it that way. <laughs> that's all that's kind of like reverse psychology there. <laughs> right. It is not. Don't laugh. Not funny <laughs> right. It, he, he loads the gun for me when he does it that way. But, no, it's not funny. It, it, it is not funny, though. I I think. Yeah, I, Jerry, I know. As soon, as soon as I. Woohoo. Uh, as soon as I inter- found out that the uh, postal carrier, she was, you know safe then you know i guess it was okay then because a lot of i think a lot of the a lot of the comments that i saw on there were like oh i think i think uh, my check was in there for my bills and stuff that's what was wrong (laughs) to me that was wrong like this vehicle is on fire yeah and i mean this is bad so right now i don't think now that i know that the person is okay you know that you think you know Start with the jokes, okay. <laughs> that was my concern. I, I didn't know if the person, you know, like how it happened, if this was like some type of one car accident, and you know, I'm like, oh my god, I hope nobody's stuck in the vehicle or something. See, but now that I know that she's okay, yeah, I, I, I have to. Yeah, but if I, I could be serious for a moment. <laughs> what now what now if if she was like had somebody's you know medication that she yes. was delivering then check you know there yeah 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 people's you know yeah. elderly yeah. Yeah. okay okay, yeah. okay yeah. people i'm gonna i'm gonna let everybody know um i finally joined the 21st century and i now do direct deposit so yeah I, so start go. doing direct deposit there you go Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> good job. Good job. You're like a regular but, Flintstones. Yeah, but the problem I was having with that was I had no physical cash. Like, you know, we got this is graduation season. So I'm like, my, my wife checks. says, yeah, my wife says, no, just get a just get a debit card for your account. And I'm like, I never I had one, but I never used it before because I didn't need to, and the one I had was expired, so I had to go get get one. So, I actually I have cash. I rarely carry cash now. Yeah, really? I. Yeah, same with me. I hardly carry cash, and right now I'm carrying cash for like the first time in about a year and a half or so when the pandemic started. Okay. So, 
Yeah. yeah even you know the most is you know when I'm when I do with my business, I, I that's about the only time I catch is outside of that. But in my daily goings and comings, I hardly ever had cash on me. Man. I, in fact, yeah. I prefer not to have cash on. Me. So I kind of wonder what people do if they have to pay uh, tolls on roads. I know, like, uh, what is it, Interstate 80 that goes from, like, all Go across. Through Chicago. Uh, through Chicago and stuff. Well, I, hey, I'm and I know give I, th- you a I think tip. the Mackinac Bridge. Mackinac Bridge is the same way. I think. That I want to give you a tip. Oh my God! Drive dad through. Did. You can drive through. Uh, I, at the time, the last time I went, you can drive through. I believe six of them before you get a ticket. I don't think okay. it's that many because my dad went to Chicago and back and didn't stop at any of them and he got a fat ticket. I I drove through. The reason I know because I got stopped before I uh, I was going in the wrong direction. I was asking a cab driver at a gas station, <laughs> and, and he was and, and he was and, you know he pointed out uh, he said past the you know, he paced it past a certain toll. I said what are you talking about? He said <laughs> he said you know when you go off of the toll. I said I, I don't know what you're talking about. He said so. You didn't pay any tolls? I said, no, nah, I've just been driving. I've <laughs> just been driving. <laughs> and so when I told him where I was coming from, he was like, okay, man, you probably got one more to go before they give you a ticket. And I think I had drove, driven through six of them at that time. But, and I didn't get a ticket. Awesome. Well, let's, see, let's we pull up something that what? is funny. Let's pull up something that is funny. This, this guy and, and we is and my we just hero. don't have tolls like that in Michigan. So. Right, we don't well, have tolls like that. This guy's my hero. Now watch this. Watch okay. this guy. <laughs> nice. Watch this. This is the best okay, part. Okay, go ahead, drive up. <laughs> wow. That guy is a hero. <laughs> that's crazy. If, if you need a getaway driver, that's the guy you go get. You are I correct. I don't know how to respond to that. Dude. He's like Jason Statham, <laughs> but from like the redneck hillbilly. That's areas. like the redneck fast yeah. nine, man. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. Just, yeah. A, wow. <laughs> <laughs> see, so that's what? the explanation. So when you go see fast nine, you're like, man, where did this guy come? How did he have a brother? That's where he's been at. Yeah. I think they're going to space this time. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I think they are going to drive cars into oh, space. Oh, my goodness. That's what after I heard. After Fast Five, I yeah. checked out. I What's checked up? out after Fast Five. Couldn't do it anymore. All right. Thank you, Agent 14. Agent 14 is awesome. And is entered in the giveaway. So if you just, all you got to do is comment. And you are entered in our So giveaway. I just need to flood the... Oh, okay. So I just, just need to flood. Flooding. So I just need to your, flood. Everybody's going to do their job. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's epic. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do you, do you, Should I go into the story on how uh, we would have never made 15 years? Sure. Because uh, last year... I was getting ready in July to start my other network that I do, Stand Firm Media. And I was sitting there going, you know what? I think I am ready to call it to a close. I think I'm ready to call it to a wrap. And I started to plan an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. meetup. It was going to take place in Birch Run, Michigan. And I, I started getting the wheels going. <laughs> I started getting the wheels going and started calling uh, venues and everything, getting that all set up. 
and we were in the back channels planning everything, and then COVID nineteen hit, mm. and, and then I was oh, like, I remember you, know, you talking about that, yeah, yep. You know, and then and then as it went, people were like, oh, thank goodness for the podcast, thank goodness for the podcast, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, and then I had a change of heart and just kept going, but I was ready to wrap it up, yes. So what does Jerry say? Back to tolls, you can also get an ETC. I almost thought that said an yeah. EDT card. <laughs> <laughs> right. As long as it doesn't say DTF, we're, we're okay. <laughs> oh, love it, Jerry. Yes, Rick is entered for All a All right. Giveaway. Thank you, Rick. Yes. Rick's awesome. And then we got Wayne. Huge congratulations to Hank and everyone oh, on the fantastic. the golden voice of all podcasting, right? Yes. And he did answer our uh, voice actor question we posed on the Bad Batch on the Mandalorian Fan Podcast. So, Oh, who did he we, come? Well, are we saving that for the We'll probably save yep, that. For we'll the save that show. for the show. Okay. <laughs> Can't give it all away. See, for I free. Fi- see, I figured Wayne would know. Uh, if anybody he, would know, Wayne yeah. Henderson would know. Yeah, see, he does. He's a- amazing. He's amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah, that was uh, TBE Network almost stopped at fourteen uh, years, but I'm glad it didn't. <clears throat> As are many people. Yeah, it is humbling to get so many email messages especially uh, i i don't think he wants me to publicly out him but i'm going to um we have awesome jim thank you jim love hey it. jim Arrowwood, how are you buddy <laughs> <laughs> love jim jim's amazing i was just thinking about him today when we used to do falling skies <laughs> the rolling masons uh that was outstanding but we had a, it's a yearly donor. I always check to see if he's like, you know, not to be macabre, but like he's deceased and he's just donating. His credit card just keeps getting hit, you know? <laughs> so every year yeah. I check in and go, hey, man, you don't have to donate, you know, if you don't want to. And he's like, no, well, this is the best $100 I spend every year and stuff. But he does, never oh. sends in feedback or anything. And we have so many people like that. They don't send in feedback. They don't say nothing. I thought, but like, I thought we he love used you to guys. send stuff in at the beginning. Esty? D- Esty from New York. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. I That's thought we were I'm talking, talking about, about Jim. No, okay. I'm talking gotcha. about Esty from New York. Yeah, he he used to. He used to. A uh, long, long time ago. I think might have been like, might have been Fallen Skies or something like that. But he's listened to us all that time. He listens all to everything we do and i'm just like man that's amazing to me just humbling is what it is so i love that it seemed like i saw one of the rolling masons just recently on a tv show i forgot what tv show it was the star child one i have not seen them in anything i haven't seen any of the characters from revolution oh no 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 i remember what it was it was umbrella academy no, 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 no! Not Umbrella Academy. It was the other. <laughs> it was, it was the other else. Netflix comic book show. Hang on. Let me look at my collection. It was the oh oh. It was the it was Lock and Key. That's what it was. <coughs> and Lock and, and Key. Okay. Yeah, and it was uh, it was the one Mason that was originally not on the show because he was captured, and then oh, which Mason was that? But. And it, 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 it doesn't look like he aged whatsoever. Wow. So, That's crazy. We got a special yeah. message, but I'm saving it until later in the episode. Okay. So if you're watching out there, make sure you, you are not going to want to miss this. It's going to be pretty, pretty darn spectacular. You probably be a little bit shocked by this one, but, uh, Man, it has been one heck of a run. Uh, somebody put up there. I think who who put up there fifteen more years? Was that Agent Fourteen? <laughs> I don't know. So, do you think we'll? Hope, do you think we can do fifteen more years? <laughs> hey, not. I don't see why. Not, I th- 
I, I think we'll all be doing this at our 50th. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've survived every bomb scare so far, so. Uh... <laughs> you did get two dogs after <clears throat> after uh, left off women. <laughs> I was going to say, how did we, uh, what was the first podcast that TP did? Was it in a nutshell? In a nutshell. In a okay. nutshell, yeah. Oh, that, that was fun. That it was, was fun, fun but what a goofy premise. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it was like sports, professional wrestling, and then video games, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was yep. like, what a, it was stuff we were interested in, but it was kind of goofy that I I don't know if anybody else, else was interested in right. it. But. <laughs> <laughs> but it took, I mean, it did well. Hey, did I well. mean, hey, sports and video games, I mean, that's those, those are two hot topics. Yeah, hand in hand. Yeah. Second hour, we used to do second hour. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Table. Yeah. yeah. That that used to be hilarious. Get together and just like this, and then just go mm-hmm. off the rails like instantaneously. <laughs> uh, it's, it was a lot of fun. But I was kind of going over like all the different people who have done shows on the network. It was kind of an extensive list. But uh, you know. It's always always fun to reminisce a little bit about the beginnings of TV Network. Some of the terrible shows we used to have to do. Revolution. Uh, oh yeah. Inhumans. That's right. All, yep. All all wow. those shows suffered from the Hank Davis curse. Yes, that's back <laughs> when I had that. When people would tell me, "Please don't podcast about this show <laughs> X, Y, or Z," because it'll get canceled immediately. I was like. Man, that's horrible. I think that started with the Sarah, Sarah Connor Chronicles, yeah. didn't it? Yes, and it so, did. So, so then I started making making fun of you right after that, and then it just kind of stuck. <laughs> yes, it did. It did. And people still to this day, you know, every once in a while, and I'm just like, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. I did used to have that reputation. The show killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think we only went one season of V. I think Revolution went two, the like two or two three, or th- two or three. Yeah, it was terrible. I, and and at a time we were doing that at the exact same time we were doing, uh, uh, the the Rolling Mason one. So yep. that is, and and it's funny if you, Big Mike, I'm going to put this in a sports reference for because you'll really it'll really hit home. You remember all the times that the Lions or the Pistons could have drafted somebody oh, and ended yeah. up being a Hall of Famer, and they did Yes. Well, yes. me and Alex would do shows that were terrible, but there were other <laughs> shows that happened that we missed. <laughs> we missed Walking Dead. Ooh. <laughs> we, we missed all these great shows that went for, like, ten seasons and, or more, <laughs> and we did, like, Revolution, Inhumans, V. Yeah. Well, Sarah I think Connick we wanted Connick. it to be Man, different because everybody, everybody was doing Walking Dead podcasts. So yeah, yeah, that's true. That thing was like a like a flooded market. It was a flooded market, but then Agents of Shield, when it first started, there was nineteen other podcasts when oh, it wow. first started, and then when it ended, we were like one of a handful that stuck with. It. Yeah, I think there were like three left. Yeah. So it is funny. Oh, how many we got? As soon as give, as soon as the giveaway tool reaches a certain metric, I will, uh, I will uh, spin the wheel. But you got to put a comment in the chat to be entered. That's all it takes. But man, what a what a crazy run! I I like some of the shows we're doing now, like The Mandalorian. I like because they're short. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Russ. All right, thank you. And and thanks for taking. Uh, I think Russ was the individual that took my side on the Sharon Carter uh, trial of the century we had on live stream. So, if that was you, Russ, I really appreciate it because everybody was against me. <laughs> oh, what what was your take on Sharon Carter? Oh, I said that she is gonna turn out to be like a triple agent or something. She's not. Gonna oh, do that. okay. And then John and Mel and everybody teamed up. Pretty much 90% of the community yeah. teamed up against me and said that I'm wrong. 
And uh, who's had to now? Lions there. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, whoa! Shots fired! Shots fired! He's talking about my Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's you, Russ. I knew it. Awesome. Thank you. We will be proven right when they reveal in two years Sharon Carter's a scroll. About two years from now. Just pull tight. <laughs> She's going to be sitting in prison this entire time. Listen, like, yeah. man, I, I, I got a gripe with that, man. And not that particular show. Why? But Netflix, Disney. Listen, man. If NBC can, NBC, ABC, all these other networks can pump out, you know, uh -oh. 20 <laughs> shows a, a season, I'm tired of having these shows, that's, you know, and they're good, but it's hard to keep interest in a show when you only get one six to eight episodes, and I gotta wait three years for the next. Yeah. the next season to start. I'm like, come on, man. It, it shouldn't take that long. To, to get these episodes. You're only doing six or eight at a time, and it takes you two years, man. Two years to pump these out, and it doesn't matter what show it is. All these shows are taking over a year and a half to two years or more to um, to put out another season. And you're only doing, you're doing, most of them are doing less than 10 episodes each, each time. You, you're not wrong. And, and and it's not only that, but Netflix will will have a really interesting show, and then at the end of the last episode or so, they'll decide to cancel it. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. So, right. So, so they'll put all this money in all these TV shows, and then it's like, nope, we're canceling it. And yeah, it's we're like, done. Really? <laughs> They're like, we're over it. Yeah. Uh, and the, like you said about the weight, I don't even remember what the last thing that happened on some of the shows we've covered, like The Mandalorian, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch the oh, last yeah. season. Because I'll be sitting there going, huh, what happened? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know. Uh, yeah, Stuff we like have that. old man syndrome because we don't remember yeah. Jack Squat. Ooh. Week to week, man. Week to week. I'm like, what did I have for breakfast? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I had. That right. sounds about right. <laughs> did I eat today? Yes, you did. Yeah, I had my shredded wheat. Huh? <laughs> right. And that's my happy. Geritol? <laughs> I need some. I do need some. But, uh, <laughs> that's great. I am, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of stoked on the trajectory of all these Star Wars properties that are coming out. But I am also a little nervous because I'm like, please don't mess all of them up. I know one thing you? we're going to be expecting from Disney Plus in the next month or so, we're going to start having a whole bunch of those Marvel properties are going to finally, you know, come into fruition. I think, what is it, Loki that's coming out first? Yeah. Uh, Jerry, I think, Jerry says that he's ticked off about Netflix canceling The Punisher and all those shows, but those rights are back to Marvel now. Yeah. So, we could, hopefully, possibly see see the return of John Bernthal's Punisher, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping that at some point they were going to somehow <laughs> release another season of Luke Cage, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. And, and I, I love that show. They should, I love do like power, they should do like Power Man and Iron Fist. That, yep. And of recast. Of course, I don't think they call it Fire Man or Power Man and Iron Fist anymore. I think they just say no. call it Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yep. I knew him as Power Man. With with, with the little tiara that he wore. Yes. <laughs> and the freaking cuff boots. Yeah. yeah the cuff boots, exactly. Let's see. I got a I'm bunch like, of Old that was Power awesome, man. man. Comics. And he occasionally would cross over into the, like the big leagues and in the comics, and it was really exciting. But I don't know; they're just not going to give him that kind of love anymore, I guess. All right, I oh, think it is time to. What do you there got? There we go, right there. Power yeah. Man, fast. Look at yeah, this dude. There you go. Right on cue. There you go. Right on cue. Then he froze. <laughs> 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 Temporarily froze. 
that's now, outstanding. now if if Marvel can get the rights back to Rom the Space Knight and the Micronauts, then they can start yeah. reprinting all these crossover things when they would cross over into like the main like there's a there's an issue of Power Man Iron Fist Marvel will never ever reprint because Rom the Space Knight was a guest star on it. Really? Okay. Right. So so I I had to go buy that issue individually cuz I I have to have everything. That's <laughs> That is awesome. I'm 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 anal that way, I guess. That <laughs> All right. Let's uh Let's give the wheel the first spin of the evening. I gotta, I gotta cue it up though first. Who do you guys want to win? If one of you wins, we're respinning though. Yeah, what, what, I was gonna whoa, say, whoa, I just, whoa, put, I, minute, I pull one of mine in there, so I'm waiting for you to post I didn't it. Agree to these terms for the podcast. <laughs> these were not in the bylaws. I did not see this anywhere. <laughs> oh, I want my T-shirt. Good. I want my shirt. <laughs> this time, I'm like, after shipping and handling, I'm like, please be local. Please be local. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See, if I goodness. win, I can just come over and pick it up from you. So. Exactly. You That's, <laughs> Jerry wins. If Jerry wins, I can just be like, hey, man, here's your shirt. In about five minutes, I can be to his house. Be like, hey, man, be, here's your shirt. You know, uh, so... I hope the wheel is understanding of all all of this kind of stuff. I don't know. I think if Wayne Henderson wins, we should all do a road trip. He won. He won last <laughs> week. All right. So if any of us win, then uh, we will love uh, respend. I did not agree to this. I'm just putting that out in the air. I am in protest. <clears throat> <laughs> no, Wayne won last week, so we're gonna reset. Road, road trip, Wayne. Nice. We're gonna respin because uh, shipping and handling was outrageous. Oh, there we go. We're gonna just keep respinning until somebody other than Wayne or me wins. Well, I don't see wins. mine up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Agent, Agent 14. 14. There we go. Yes. Nice. Yes, let's give, let's uh, let's go ahead and give Agent Fourteen the whole uh, round of applause and and all the good stuff. Yeah, good job. golf clap. Don't worry, don't worry. There will be more spins to <clears throat> win. Agent Fourteen, email me feedback at tpe network i need your address and stuff but there's going to be more spins to come and agent 14 is no no longer eligible <laughs> <laughs> for this week anyways for this week for this week so that's outstanding it'll, it'll win some amazing prizes that we have man you just wait till you guys see these prizes yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw it. He's like They're rolling his eyes. They're outstanding. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> let's throw some confetti down on this party. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so <laughs> let, let's go back and talk about those Netflix Marvel properties that they had. How many of you have yeah. seen every single episode of all all of those Netflix, like Daredevil and uh, uh, Luke Cage and... Iron Fist and what else did they have? Uh, Jessica, what's it? Uh, Jessica Jones. Uh, Jessica Jones. Yep. So I saw uh, the first season, probably all those, but even like Daredevil, I only saw the first season and some of the second season. And Hank says, "Oh, come on, you got to watch the rest of them." So I tried, and I just, I just, you, you hated um, Iron Fist. No, I didn't probably... hate them. It's just like. <laughs> Iron Fist was probably the one for me that I was like, okay, I'm, I'm uh, tapping out there, man. That was that one was not good to me. All the rest of them I liked, but Iron, Iron Fist, Fist was was not good to me. Ah, uh, even season two. Mm. Well, the only thing that made uh was was it Iron Iron Fist when they all teamed up at the end? Defenders. 
Defenders, okay. Well, the Defenders was good. Iron Fist, him by himself, was not good to me. Mm. Jerry says he saw most of them, not all of them. I saw all of them. I mm. punished myself and watched all of them. <laughs> Jessica Jones was the <laughs> one I couldn't get into that much. We, like, the resolution no, we, we, to season one was like, she yeah. could have done that in the first five minutes of the season. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it was like, what? what's this about? It was... It was so weird to me. It was so strange, though. So. But Luke Cage was really good. I thought that was really well done. I think Luke Cage was the best one to me. Uh, Daredevil's the best one. <clears throat> Daredevil, you, you, Daredevil was good. I like Luke Cage better, though. You would you disagree? Okay, what about you? Are you going to break Luke this tie, Alex? Um, let's see. I, I, lo I love the actor that played Luke Cage. He did, in fact, he... Did, did you guys watch that other show that he's been in recently? Um, it's kind of like he's uh, kind of like he's like an exorcist or something. And he's like fighting oh. demons. It was kind of it was one of those those I think CBS Friday night shows. Um, or was it? Or was it a Thursday night? But I don't think that lasted long either. That one just lasted a season. It was interesting though. I, I watched a couple episodes, but um, I don't know. I I, I like Luke Cage. I really do. Any show yeah, that has good. my girl Missy Knight in it will get the, oh, the thumbs up for me, buddy. Uh, she, <laughs> she was. That's a smoke show. Yeah, that's man. a smoke show. Any show she's in, buddy, it gets my vote. I was pretty happy <laughs> that that the ordeal. Um, I hope that Disney takes some of those characters in. But I don't know which ones you could do on Disney Plus because they're pretty hardcore. Yeah. Did, have, oh, man, have you they guys could never watched... do the Punisher on Disney. No, that would probably they be a Hulu. They could never do the Punisher on Disney. <laughs> Parent organizations are suing Disney. Oh, man. So so uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel TV got together with the guys that do Robot Chicken, and they put out uh, MODOK. And I watch. I've been watching it's, that. It's hilarious. And so it, and that's on rough, Hulu. Rough around the edges. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. I watched the first episode and I, you know, it was pretty good. I didn't realize they made a whole season of it. So if you guys like Robot Chicken, you're gonna love, you're gonna love the Modoc series. Oh, what does Rick say? I had a letter published in issue fifty of Power Power Man and Iron Fist. Really. Oh wow, that's cool. That is cool. Hey, that out, that out does my uh, home run picture in uh, Nintendo Power when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I was on the home run record list, and I still have that somewhere in here in my storage. Nice. <laughs> I was like, yay! <laughs> Ma, take a picture of the scream. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that is awesome. A letter published. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm really hoping they do some some good stuff. But there's so many characters that are at their disposal. It's going to take a lifetime. Oh, yeah, you to... got thousands of characters you can do. and Yeah, and I, I don't know. I'm going to say something that might not be popular, but they're, they're starting to not even care about the source material. <laughs> Yeah. So that is kind of bothering me. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, you know, we'll see how how it goes over time. You know, maybe they'll get a little better at that or something. I, well, look what they're doing with Sharon Carter. So, <laughs> And it all yeah. comes back down to Sharon Carter. Are you looking forward to the What If series? I am... I used to love those comics when I was a kid. What if? I don't, and it was be what, outrageous. What if we didn't even watch it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what if Peggy Carter was Captain America? You know, oh, and those, Steve Rogers really, is like a zombie. I'm like, what? Yeah, those really early issues of What If were fantastic. And then uh, they came out with the second series of What If, and the first ten issues were fairly decent. And then oh. it just started getting really crazy, and it was 
Every we, yeah. issue was like a fill-in. Okay, look at Alex's little hands coming up. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <clears throat> oh, thank you for sending that Oh, in. wow. Oh, we appreciate that. Well, is it time to spin again? Is it already time to spin again? Ah, oh, Rick says, excellent. Let's do this. Hey, uh. Let's do it. We're going to re-spin the wheel. Who's number two? Who's our second winner of the night? Please be somebody local. Please be somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Wayne. <laughs> if Wayne won she again. Yes! <laughs> he finally what? wins. Yes. Was nice. oh, that walking distance, Hank? Yeah, it is almost walking. If I wasn't fat, I, I, was, I would be able to walk. <laughs> That far. Nice. So that is number two. Awesome. Congrats, Jerry. You are a winner. It's just like the slot machines. You just keep doing it, and then eventually you get in there and you win. So we're not done. We're not done spinning. Uh, we'll, we'll spin again <laughs> later. <laughs> oh, baby. Shakalaka. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yes, I will be in touch on that. And we still got to hang out anyway, so that'll be cool. Oh, um, my goodness. What a fun evening. It's going fast. It's already 40 minutes in. Oh, wow. So do you think we're streamed out as far as these streaming services? There are streaming services coming out of my ears. I, I haven't even watched my HBO Max in probably like a week. And... I didn't. I wouldn't even remember if I didn't get billed, you know, every so often. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what? This is a conversation we had about five years ago when all this stuff started happening. Like, there's gonna be a point when there's gonna be two. the The whole market's gonna be flooded with streaming services, and uh, right now, uh, Warner Brothers bought out Discovery, so we're gonna see a merger here between HBO Max and Discovery Plus before you know it. Rick, have no fear. You still have a chance to win, even if you're not present for the drawing. Still, I'm not old chance. enough to have grandkids. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, yes, we are. I am the king of the seven day trial, man. I have them all. Six, six He's days. Got an email I got a address. System. Oh yeah, I got a system, man. Yep, delete that you one. Resign up email there. Addresses? Oh man, I've got hundreds. Just run Caden all through, says, man. Caden says, I have streaming services that I don't even remember I have. <laughs> Caden, you, you are epic, my friend, and you are now entered to win uh, yeah, next spin. Man. Uh, next spin of the magical wheel. The only one I actually pay for is, <laughs> yeah. is Netflix. Everything else is, man, is, look, I've probably had you can't be a, a year of free trials. <laughs> Big fella, you can't be a 40-plus-year-old pirate. Come on. Oh, man. yeah, that's me. That's me all day long. You should oh. never make it as easy as what it is right now. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. That's a you problem. <laughs> what is Rick? <laughs> Rick says all of the a la carte stuff is going to end up costing me. It is. Be yeah, careful what exactly. we wish for. Yep. We wished for yep, this, and exactly. look, we got it, and it's like a disaster. Now, I will say I pay for, as far as regular watching TV, I pay for sling, and I love my sling, man. Love my okay. sling -ling, man. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> – <laughs> you got it. I love what uh, Jerry says. He made it to 50. It's almost like you go like this because yeah. you don't want to be that dude that is already grandpa in the 40s. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You're like, Whew. I don't know, Dang Jerry. It. I'm going to be there in August, so I'm pretty darn close. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, Rick pays for Peacock? Oh. Because what of IndyCar? Peacock? Oh, okay. NBC? It, yeah, it is. I forgot yeah. they even have one. Yeah. So, so I, I got I I have Peacock through my oh. Comcast, oh, wow. and then, and then I have uh, HBO Plus through my, through my AT and T. Oh so, wow! And, yeah, I get and, Hulu and that, from my and, uh, cell phone service. So okay, I, I yeah, don't I, pay for I, Hulu. 
I don't do any of that. I don't get any of those perks. I've got, I've got Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max, and then I canceled. I cancel Netflix until uh, Cobra Kai comes back. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. Cobra Kai comes back, I'll get Netflix again. The only, the only reason why I was watching Netflix was because of uh, Stranger Things and a uh, Cobra yes. Kai, right? Yeah. And so, and so I try, I'm trying to get rid of Netflix, but the family don't want me to. So I'm like, okay. I got rid of Netflix. Netflix. I. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like the lowest one on the totem pole for me. Yeah. I have to have Hulu. I have to have Disney Plus. Have to for yeah. the podcast. I have, to I have love... Hulu just to watch. No, I don't Mash. watch Hulu. I don't. I don't watch Hulu. I, I very seldom watch Hulu. Every, just about eighty percent of everything I'm watching comes off of uh, Netflix. Really? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, Netflix I'm, just didn't do it for me. If I had to pick I, between the two, I'd pick Hulu every time. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, Cobra Kai was <laughs> that. Uh, you know, I, I've. I've I love my Netflix. Hulu, the one I really didn't Bargain. care for was Amazon Prime. Amazon oh, Prime that, I have that was one too. ridiculous. I have that yeah, one. I got Amazon Prime just simply on my Amazon Prime like member I not like Amazon anyway. Prime because Amazon Prime, it makes no sense that I have to, you know, even old movies. I went back and wanted to watch uh, <laughs> Bad Boys 3, right? Wow. Saturday. I, I like the movie. I love. I like Bad Boys Three. So it was yeah. a Saturday, and it was just fun to watch. It was a fun, a fun movie to watch. So I go to I go to click on it on Amazon, and they give me two choices. Now, mind you, this was less than like a month ago. <laughs> they still wanted to charge. I think it was either fifteen or twenty bucks to watch Bad Boys Three, or sign up for stars so why would i sign up for another oh, streaming yeah. service to watch something on your service i'm like okay right. i'm done yeah i'm like okay that that's that's uh, you're if uh, i didn't have packages coming every other day i would get rid of amazon prime yeah <laughs> but i just do too much I, I need this and you're like no you really didn't need that though. yep you know? their service the only show that I watched on the Prime was The Boys. What yeah, about me too. Uh, Tom Clancy? I watched the Tom Clancy show. I didn't watch uh, those. Jack Ryan. Yeah. That was no, good. You should watch didn't that. Watch it. I watched The Boys on there. That was my show. The Boys but that was really it. weird. That's a weird Again, season. Again, that's one that I haven't seen the second season. I watched the first season. Yeah, the second season is not that good to me. Uh, What, The Boys? The Boys. Uh, It was all right to me. It was all right. Um, but, again, that's another show that we'll be waiting two years before the next season comes out. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dean Winchester is going to be on there from, Sam, from oh, okay. uh, Supernatural. Yeah, I'm waiting, on, I'm waiting on season 21 of Supernatural. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're going to do another season of, yeah. of <laughs> Can I just say please no? Can I just say please no? Hey, please. listen. They're going to find a way to come back. They're they're horrible. <laughs> that, that show got to be horrible. And it's just like and that, they were going along and then just off uh, the rails. Goofy. And that so sounds like they jumped the shark a long time ago. Yeah. And to provide proof of them jumping the shark, here comes the shark of truth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there he comes. There he, they they jumped him when they did Supernatural after like season six or seven. It was just gotcha. unwatchable. Listen, unwatchable. You would not be disrespectful to Sam and Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy. That and that's the show just my daughter said. You haven't figured out a way to break into heaven and come back, dude. That's your problem. That's a you problem, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all about family, but they left a brother in hell. Yeah. Hey, like, what did they do though? What they did just he left do? him there? Did you answer that question? 
Did yeah, you no. ask that question? No. What did he do? I'm a free thinker. He, he may deserve to be there. <laughs> I, I, that show, I was just like, they're just gonna not remember Adam. They have another brother, and they're just he's just lost forever. Okay, that's nope, interesting. Nope. nope, the actor said he didn't want to do the show anymore, so they, that's how they wrote him off. <laughs> oh, what does Rick say? I watched some of those foreign-made dystopian future Netflix shows, but hardly any of them are. Hardly any of the made for Netflix series, really. Yeah. So Netflix, oh. their own production arm is not churning out the old hits. Is that for Cobra Kai? Now, <laughs> I I know they have uh, like uh, Castlevania. I started watching that. That was pretty good. That gets um, really graphic, though. It does. Yeah. yeah. I was watching it now, next to like a child. And I was like, because I thought it was like from the video games, kind of like okay. that kind of. Right. And then they started doing what they do in that right. series. And I was like, okay, no, nope, we're done watching. You know, <laughs> cover your eyes. Have you seen, have you guys watched uh, The Witcher? I didn't Based watch it. I, I'm, I'm not a Henry Cavill. Yeah, I haven't Cabble watched guy. it either. I'm not a Henry I thought Cabble he sucked guy. as Superman, and so I'm not going to watch him as whatever. Yeah, and then that's when Alex said, I am professionally done with you. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Stranger Things and Umbrella Academy. Yes. I have not watched this. Love Umbrella those Academy. Two. Oh, man. I was what a huge, huge. Oh, you got to watch it. The, what is of it? The, what? The Umbrella Academy? Oh, Russ so says Witcher a... is not good. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Russ. Thank don't you. Waste my time we don't, we're not going to watch it. <laughs> nope. He saved us some money. Or saved us time. Yeah, uh, precious time. But Umbrella Academy, what's the what's the? I mean, just think of a family of kids that all have their own abilities that um, kind of don't like each other. Some of them are cool. Some of them are, you know, they're all kind of dysfunctional in their own way. All trying to thwart the uh, the uh, end of the world, and somehow, you know, they they will end it. At one spot or one time, and then <laughs> it happens at another time. So they have to it, eventually. They're like perpetually going through time, stopping the end of the world. So it's basically the Runaways from Hulu. Yeah, it's it's, it's it has a X Men vibe to it. Time is money, Alex. Time is money. That's right. It is. <laughs> I agree. I love it. So it has an X Men vibe to it. Yeah, kind it's of, really yeah. good. Yeah, it, it's really you know, good. But though. it's really I, good though. It's good. You know what show was good that didn't get any credit was Gifted. The Gifted. Mm. I thought it was good. And the silence is making me think of you guys. Don't and know. crickets. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let me let me give the my crickets. Little... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> release the kraken or some balloons to keep me entertained for a second yes there we go all right um that's horrible then okay nobody was on board with the gifted just me okay that's cool i'll stand alone right. no i <laughs> thank you rick um, thank you Somebody standing up with me i uh i think there are some of their horror series is pretty good um they did an adaptation of the BBC's Dracula, and that kind, of, and it was only three episodes. So it was made by the same people who do uh, Sherlock on oh, okay. on BBC. The yeah. Same, and it's it's really good. But the the kind of the twist is Van Helsing is not a is not a man. And oh, it, okay, it's, okay. Van Helsing I think I was saw. a nun, and I, it was hilarious. I I, I loved it. Hmm. And then uh, another good one uh, was the the haunting of Hill House, and it and ch talk about something to go totally off the source material. That definitely was way off the source material. That is pretty interesting. And so they're on a second season right that. now. I think yeah. I may have watched the haunting of Hill House. Oh. Okay. I have not it had, watched it. It had uh, I, Henry Thomas in it. Is that the one? Tell me if this is crazy. 
I try to limit myself to two shows at a time. So I try to watch it. I'll yeah. have two shows going, and then I, once one drops off, I'll pick up another one. Right. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I typically will do two to three at a time. Because uh, I think Troy Heinrichs, I think he likes them like a six-pack, like a beer. Uh, he has like a <laughs> six-pack of shows. And I'm watching this, 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 this. And I'm like, whoa, man. That's awesome. But I don't have time for that. So I wonder oh, if I, uh, I, I wonder if Wayne and Troy are going to do the there's a Stephen King property coming out for uh, the Apple TV. What is it? And uh, Wayne's still uh, here. Is it, is it Lizzie's, Lizzie's story or Lizzie's story? And I know it's Yay! one of Stephen. I, it's one of Stephen King's uh, favorite Shannon, books that he's that he's writ, written. So. So that's Shannon's and in the house. And I happen to have I happen to have that for free through my through my iPhone. So <clears throat> that is interesting. I would love if them two would do a uh, podcast together again. But I don't know. I think uh, I think Troy's busy with the blacklist or something. Gotcha. And it's like tenth season or whatever it's made it to. I can't remember. It's gone pretty far. Mm. I'm not. Uh, I. I. They jumped the shark on that show for me. Yeah. On that one. I try to. Blacklist. I try to. Uh, try to get a podcast going with. Uh, uh, Stephen King had a short story book out last year at this time, and so uh, uh, Julia Marchese and uh, oh and and Wayne. That's like and Julia does her own like uh, a horror film podcast and it's quite good so uh-huh. you know so simply because i don't have i don't have much time anymore and i don't have the equipment i'm like hey let's just do a one-off just the three of us get together just just the three of us talk together and 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 do a podcast of the stephen king book just a, that'd have been awesome just just that'd a one-time cool. thing yeah yeah that'd have been cool yeah i would shoot i would host it uh, you know what I mean? I'd host the file yeah. if you guys need somewhere to host the file or something. Uh, cause... Let's get, you know, three Stephen King fans together and just, you know, oh. talk. And we we all come from different podcasting worlds and stuff. So, oh. I yeah, kind of like all the major comic book companies teamed up for one <laughs> for issue one. of something. One issue and one <laughs> issue only. I like the sound of that. Uh, I think in about five minutes we'll spin the wheel again. We'll spin until somebody who hasn't already won or me wins. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully it cooperates. Well, I gotta and post doesn't. something again. It, <laughs> so hopefully it, it cooperates. You know what happened to me last week? So the company I use for T-shirts. The, all the shirts were like thirteen bucks, which I will still, I would still get some of that back or off when I buy them. So I procrastinated. I waited like an extra day, and then they're all twenty bucks. Oh wow! <laughs> I was like crap. I was like, darn it. Uh, so don't procrastinate. So this time, these orders are getting filled like immediately in the morning. But uh, yeah, quit cheating. Quit stuffing the box there. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuffing the box. He's trying to win. He is trying to <laughs> take away. He did it too. He did. It. He pulled one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. That's a I wise man it. who said that. A wise man once said that. Yes. yes. And, and that was just a minute ago, and he said it once. Oh, that's awesome. It's fun. Podcasting is awesome. It's just getting the time when everybody can get together. That's the hardest part that I have with the whole medium. It's yeah, trying that, to coordinate. And, and and that's it. You know, you know, time is money, right? So um, now this time of year is like when i'm in my downtime i'm a i'm a teacher in my uh regular day and so you know i'm i'm off on summer break now so that's 
kind of why we did Fallen Skies and all those during the summertime, and that was really easy to do. And I missed one. But I missed uh, a comment. Uh-oh. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I can find it. Modoc. Oh. Uh, we yeah. talked about Modoc earlier. You liked it, right? I, I think it's kind of yeah, funny. It, it, it's, it's just funny. a little it, it's raunchy. Silly. It's just a little raunchy. Like, I, I, I liked it. Yeah, I mean, so it, like a little over the top. If you're, if you're immature like I am, you're going to love it. Because it is, uh, <laughs> it's our favorite K Mig. <laughs> it's our favorite. Oh, that's K-Mig right. Brother. Yes, yeah. yes. I totally forgot about that. Yes. The voice behind it, and once I found out who the voice is, what's his real name? I can't think of his real name, but whatever his real name is, he is outstanding. I'm gonna let you think about that for a while. Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. Sorry, Patton. <laughs> I rescued myself out the of that. The comedian one. extraordinaire, Pat. Nosler. He is. He's funny, man. And the, the kids on there, they were really funny on there. I thought they did a good job. Well, is it time to spin until somebody other than the winners and me wins? All right, go ahead, Big Mike. Say it. Say it. Say it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to draw. Let's spin again. I'm going to keep spinning until somebody who hasn't already won or me wins. <laughs> no, Yay, no, Jerry. Spinning yet. no, you're not getting two shirts, Jerry. <laughs> so we're going to keep spinning. Put the confetti away. Come on. <laughs> I just, I kind of wish this app would just let me cheat, but it won't. Jeez almighty, how many times are we going to have to... <laughs> Oh, how many times are we going to have to roll the dice? <laughs> it's going to be like, Eric wins. And no, he already won. Good Lord. Yeah, we got to have more people come on in. Yeah, and it's going it, to... They need to have a mechanism where you can pull people out of it. Ah, oh, no. What is wrong with this app? I want my money back. Time to get a new app. <laughs> Uh-huh. Somebody that hasn't won. Come on, tenth time's a charm. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'm about right. ready to give up. Maybe, maybe it's the eleventh time is the charm. Yeah. Maybe my mouse isn't working. <clears throat> Spin the wheel. <laughs> Spin the wheel. <laughs> if it messes if it does not pick somebody correctly this time, I am going to uh Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I'm gonna give up. I will. I will pull it off screen and then. Okay, I no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop, Ross. Yeah, Dan, yeah. yeah. there you go. No, my I wanted, Dan I wanted that's, Russ. That's my to twin, by the way. That's your twin. Okay, he looks a hell of a yeah. lot. Yeah, he looks similar. I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. We're not done spinning. Don't worry. <laughs> Just going to pull it that off screen awesome. so I can no, do don't, my... Don't send it I, to that guy. I don't think he deserves it. I can do my this WWE one. off screen. I think, I think he works for the company. <laughs> he said, speaking of, speaking gotta... of WWE, did you see all the releases they did yesterday? Yeah. Times, yeah. Are, and... t- times are hard, man. So Yay! Well, Wait. Hold on. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> yes. There we go. Congratulations, <laughs> Shannon. Congratulations. Yes. There we go. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. So rumor has it that Uncle Vince wants to sell the company and he needs uh, to. Universal NBC right now, so who is that? Comcast that owns them now? Uh are might be possibly purchasing them since their streaming service is now taken over by Peacock. Really? Yeah. And uh, as a one subscriber to WWE Network, it's not half as good. Oh, that's Ooh. not good. No. Yeah, they don't even have all the content they used to have on there. It's really... And 
Uh, so, some of the other things too, they put uh, they put a bunch of things in the cancel culture society. So, and I don't know. I think so. If anybody wants to avoid the cancel culture, just get everything on DVD or Blu-ray because that's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> right. The only way you can or, miss it. Or VHS. There you go. Bring back my Walker, Texas Ranger. Yes. There you go. Watch yeah. a bunch of re- reruns of uh, Walker spin kicking bad guys. <laughs> at like I see they're rebooting old. that series, though. Yeah. Supernatural. Sammy. Yeah, Sammy's okay. playing. Uh, Pat Lackey. Sammy's going to play <laughs> Walker. Yeah. I got to see if, if he's he going to wear a jump a, kick. I wonder if he's going to wear a Star Wars shirt. <laughs> uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. I reached out oh, wait, to that, that individual. Was, that was his wife. I reached out to that individual to see if they would uh, uh, do do a, a uh, video, but she wasn't taking any uh, ah. requests at that time. At this time, those creepy guys talk about my Star Wars T-shirt all the time. <laughs> she was nice about it, though. Um, <laughs> it's just, uh, it is seven o'clock. Do you guys want to go a little longer, or want to wrap it up? Hey, you know, I'm always in for the long haul. Oh my god! Sure, just not that four I triple book myself for something tonight. <laughs> you probably did. Where are you going? I did triple book myself, and it's like. Okay, so I, I I have a schedule. I put it on my phone. Mm-hmm. Don't ever put it on your phone because your phone yeah, will never remind you. The one best of these, thing to man. do is, yeah, I so get a calendar. Just write it down on the calendar. And oh. and try to get some of it done, go. like me. Yeah. Try to get a little bit of it done at there least. There you go. Where you're like, yeah, I succeeded at something. Whoa. Release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said crack. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get canceled for that. <laughs> They'll be like, "He's done. We're done with him. They don't care. We're about professionally us. done with him. <laughs> They're over us." Uh, do you want to uh, kill it, or do you want to keep going? Let's keep on going. Okay. What do you want to talk about now? What? Uh, I provided the first two excellent memes, I must say. Now, you you must come up with your own memes <laughs> from here on out. All <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. What should we So, we <laughs> should talk about driver. the times when all three of us, back about 30 years ago, would get together and play Nintendo 64. Oh. And, <laughs> and we, we would be up until the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Oh I'm man! I'm right behind you. Shoot him in the back. I'm right man. behind you. Man, you died. Those were some good times, man. Yeah, we had some fun video game times. That's watching, when video games uh, were really legit. We're our just missing Gibby. our fourth guy, Gibby. Yeah, spike we're just missing controller. Gibby. Watching Gibby spike a controller into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, Zelda does, on sixty four. Oh, yes, what I love Zelda. On, yeah, I love. I I have both Zelda games still on the sixty four. I love. You know what they Zelda say about games Nintendo games? You you want to play an old favorite? Just wait until they port it, because they will be porting it. Oh, they will. <laughs> well, they don't that, ever make you know, anything that, new. That that first Nintendo sixty four game they did. I don't know about the True, second yeah. one if they ever ported that and. Of course, my my favorite game from the from the Switch was the Zelda game that they ported over from. I don't know if they ported over from the previous system, but around Which Christmas one? time, that's I don't. Zelda's don't Awakening. Don't remember what is it was. It? I don't. I don't remember. But I was addicted to that game, and I couldn't oh. put it down. So I, that was my whole Christmas break, and I still didn't finish the game. So I need to go back and finish it. But now I don't know what any of the moves do anymore. So I gotta. <laughs> I gotta get back and practice. <laughs> Hey, go back and to the old drawing board. Okay. Yeah, I, I miss the old school games. Yeah. Yeah. Those are fun. Those are fun. I say, man, I think uh, I, I think watching uh, Gibby have meltdowns made every uh, 
game like <laughs> yeah. watching that guy <laughs> I used watching to, that guy I used go, to destroy just him absolutely berserk after a loss was I used to destroy him at Star Fox destroy him like don't even take off in your plane because I, you're coming right back to the ground <laughs> and I think he taught us a whole level of uh of how to use uh, v vulgarity in, in a proper way. Oh, manner. man. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. Kate, Caden's out of touch with the uh, newer games. Yeah, I am too, Caden. <laughs> I'm with you. I, I am too, because I was like, what? Who? Who's this character? I don't know this character. So, so, like, for the first time, probably like 10, 15 years, I canceled my, my uh, Xbox Live. Oh wow! Uh, I I was never on it anymore, so it's kind of silly for me to pay for something I don't use. Yeah, that's true. So, sixty bucks a year. Yeah. For something that should be free, but it was just yeah. saying. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Just spitballing out there. So you know what? Oh, I got some questions for you, man. For 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 the man in the seat, the captain, El Capitan. Yeah. Um, 15 years, so everybody that's listening hasn't, hasn't been along, you know, on the ride. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody has been on a ride since the very beginning, right? So, we're going to, I got some questions about the start. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hank sitting, and it's, you know, sitting in his living room. The light bulb comes on. I'm going to start a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. What made you pick the people that you pick to start your podcast? Ah, I've never been asked that question. <clears throat> Very good. Um, I think because we were all friends and we already talked about the subject matter. Okay. So me and Alex already talked to wrestling. Yeah. Me, yeah, yeah. Me and that, you, you know, already we, talked to video games. Yeah. Every time we talk on the phone, you know, that's what we would talk about. So it's like, yeah, let's turn our phone conversations into a podcast. Yeah, it is. It's literally why I did it. Because you, you need to have some kind of subject matter knowledge. And, right. And we were already kind of like, we'd get on the phone and talk pro wrestling I'd get on the phone with Big Mike and talk video games. And Mello, I would sit around and talk sports with him for like four hours. So I was just like, you know what? Let's record this. <laughs> hey, do you terrible. guys remember? Terrible. Speaking of wrestling, do you guys remember when all of us got together when you went to go see WrestleMania down at Ford Field? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. That was awesome. Yes. That was, that was great. Awesome. That was I still have that jacket night. I bought. I still have it. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That was, that was a fun yeah, night. It's, it was a good I night. It. I wish they would have actually wrestled, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I went into the event with super high expectations, and I was greatly disappointed because I went to WrestleMania three, and that was like the greatest WrestleMania ever. And so try to top that, and I, no, not not even close. Yeah, that's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and the Macho Man. Yeah, correct? yeah. Right, right. Yeah, they yeah. stole the show. Yeah. Yeah. But it was I a good night, though. That that was fun. Yeah. It was, uh... Didn't, didn't we know. all go go watch a SmackDown taping and they had ECW after that before? Yes. Because that's, yeah, how, that's how we got the WrestleMania yes. tickets. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was good. See? As, you know what? It it didn't matter if the wrestling was good. I I was in uh, excellent company for sure. That yes. was that's yes. why we did it. We used to have a yeah. blast. I remember I went to the Saginaw Civic Center one time, and uh, I almost got decked by Ludwig Borger. You remember him? Oh yep. yeah, yeah. He took yeah. this kid's sign and he just ripped it in half and threw it at him. It was like a little kid. <laughs> So my nephew yeah, he, goes up there and says something to him, and he he goes like this, and I was just like running up there like, "You did what?" <laughs> I was like, "I was like, bring it, come on, bring it!" <laughs> and he's just yelling at us and stuff, and he just kept going. The only time I was scared was um, 
the one man gang came to uh, what was it? The, what was the Pirani Event Center? Used, what did it used to be called? Oh, the IMA. The yes. IMA. Yeah. Yes. So Slick was in there, and at the time oh, I had yeah. like this crazy Jerry curl, and Slick was like, "Get a haircut!" He yells at me, <laughs> and I I said I I go I just started yelling at him and stuff, and he goes, "Gang, come down here and get this sucker!" And the one man gang comes out of that tunnel, and that was like one of the largest human beings I ever seen in my life, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like away from the fence, away from the fence, away from the fence. Everybody was like, "Holy smokes, that guy is huge!" I was like, "Yikes!" He was scary huge. Yeah. So okay, here's another question I've been. At, at what point, you know, you, we started this all off. You know, we were all doing, you know. Sometimes shows together, sometimes shows separate. Um, you know, at what point did you go, we have something? Like, what was there, you know, was it rating? You know, were you looking to see, see how many listeners we had? Was it, you know, what was it once we got it going, you know, you got that, okay, we got something? It is all, it has been and always will be feedback when we get stuff from across the globe and i'm just like what the freaking heck you know like 150 some countries around the world yeah we were getting voicemails from people yeah from all continents except for antarctica and that that is when i was like oh you know i was like crap like this is something something special I'm still holding off for that penguin in our, in our, in, <laughs> if we can get one, if one I can say it scientist. Right. They're, they're scientists over there, and they download podcasts. If we could just get one scientist over there to download any one of our shows, I don't care which one it is, so it comes up on stats, I will just be like, I will throw, I'll throw, I'll launch <laughs> balloons, confetti, whatever. I'll just, I'll throw the confetti, and I'll throw balloons at it. I would be so ecstatic. I'll do all kinds of stuff. Now, you know, I, I, I answering that question, I think um, the time we, I can't remember what year it was, uh, but we were doing Let's Talk Women, and we looked at the ratings. I think it might have been on iTunes or one of, was, one of those. It was iTunes. Was it iTunes? Yep. And we were second behind Oprah. Yep. I was like, okay. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that was, was awesome. That was a good feeling. I mean, when you you do anything, I don't care if, hell, if, you're, in, if you're shopping and you stand behind Oprah. That's uh, that's pretty good, man. So that, <laughs> when, when we, I'm you know, shopping. when we were doing show after show, man, and. You know, I saw that. I was the that, that I went. I talked. I think I was. Everybody I ran across. I was telling. That was yeah. awesome. Those were the uh, craziest times ever when, when we were going. You know, full tilt, just crazy, crazy, crazy. That I think that was the longest run we had was the, of a super ginormous downloads was. Yeah, because that was doing crazy numbers. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was pretty, pretty special back. You know, it's still special because we, you know, since then we've won awards and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's super special. Every everything we do, I feel like is is pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> 15 years. Bye. That was oh, awesome, man. We got to say bye. Big Mike's going to make me pee my pants now. I'm laughing <laughs> All right. For Alex and Big Mike, I'm Hank. We are signing off. See ya.